President Biden is reportedly frustrated with how often his aides rush to clean up his off-the-cuff comments, which has become a pattern throughout his presidency. The dynamic came into focus last week when Biden, for the second time in his presidency, implied the U.S. position on Taiwan had changed. Quickly, you didn't want to get involved in the Ukraine conflict militarily for obvious reasons. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are? That's the commitment we made. He first claimed the U.S. was committed to defend Taiwan militarily during an interview in August, after which the White House cleaned up his remarks. Well, there has been no shift. The president was not announcing any change in our policy, nor has he made a decision to change our policy. Uh, there is no change in our policy. Biden also made a number of statements about Afghanistan that the White House had to clean up, including about whether al-Qaeda had been driven out of that country. What interest do we have in Afghanistan at this point, with al-Qaeda gone. We went to Afghanistan for the express purpose of getting rid of al-Qaeda in Afghanistan, as well as, as well as getting Osama bin Laden. And we did. Very intelligence estimates about how many al-Qaeda remain in Afghanistan. We know that al-Qaeda is a presence, as well as ISIS, in Afghanistan. And Biden has even spread misinformation when it comes to the COVID vaccine. The, vi the, the, the various shots that people are getting now cover that. They're, they're, you're okay. You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Last night, the president said you're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Why did he say that when that is not what the science says? Well, what the science says is that 97% of hospitalizations are people who are unvaccinated. So yes, there are uh, cases of individuals who are vaccinated, to be absolutely clear, who, uh, who do have gotten COVID. Biden's frequent miscommunications have attracted more scrutiny in recent weeks as his poll numbers continue to plummet. After a string of misfires, critics have pointed out that Biden has not agreed to a sit-down interview since February. Sarah Westwood for the Washington Examiner.